Hello and welcome back to Suku by Susanna. In this video I'm going to show you how to align stripes and checkers and squares when you sew any, any garment. For example, in this skirt these pleats are matched but this, this, these pleats are already whole. So the most important part to align, for example, in this skirt is the side seam. I'm going to look here where the side seam is to show you. So, the side seam is right here and as you can see it's very hard to tell apart the side seam from the pleats because all the stripes are matched. So we have this example on this side seam and then on the other, let me see where it is. It's here. So here is the side seam because it's overlocked on this side and here is the side seam and all the stripes are matched. The way to do this, to perfectly match uh, stripes and plaids and the checkers and everything on garments is not exactly when you sew, but it starts when you cut out the fabric with the pattern. So the secret to achieve this is to align the pattern pieces on the fabric. We're just going to start with the pattern pieces now. It's to align the pattern pieces on the fabric and align them on the sides where they, they will be sewn together. So for example, this is a skirt, this is the center back and that over there is the center front and this is the side seam of the skirt. So this, these two pieces will be sewn like this on the side seam. So I'm not just aligning them here on the edges because I still have the seam allowance. What I'm going to do is to draw here the line where the seam allowance is in this example, this pattern says that the seam allowance is one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to just draw a line here of one centimeter and then another one here. I'm going to do the same thing for the other pattern piece, which I have already done. And now when I'll be sewing the skirt together, I'll be aligning these two areas on this lines here. This is where it will be sewn. I need to cut the pattern in a way that these two points here match perfectly with each other. The same thing happens for example when you cut out a blouse or a top or a t-shirt, any top. Usually on tops I like to align the stripes or the, the checkers here right under the armhole. This point here is the point where I like to align it. This blue line that you see here is not the seam allowance, this is another size. So I'm going to just draw a line here with the seam allowance, where the seam allowance matches. One centimeter for each side and it's here on this point. When I cut out this blouse, I'm going to need to align the print of the fabric here on these points. And if I cut my pattern pieces on the fabric aligned with these parts here, with these spots here, I am going to perfectly match the stripes or the checkers when I'm sewing. Let's see how this works using a real fabric and I'm going to cut the, the, the pattern out on the fabric. I have this fabric here and it has a lot of squares and stripes to match. It has vertical stripes and horizontal stripes and I'm going to cut out a skirt and I'm going to try to match all these checkers and these stripes and everything. So the first thing to do is to determine which is the right side of the fabric and which is the wrong side. In this case, because the right side and the wrong side are are almost the same. I go with these stripes in the fabric itself. So the, the fabric is woven in a way that it has these little stripes and on the right side of the fabric those stripes go from the right hand side to the left hand side. So they go from the right to the left and on the wrong side it's the other way around. They go from left to right. So this is the right side and I'm going to cut out everything assuming that this is the right side of the fabric so that all these stripes and checkers turn out well once the skirt is sewn. So I'm going to start off with just one pattern piece because the fabric is not wide enough for me to cut both skirt pieces 
side by side. So I'm going to have to cut out first one of them and then I'm going to pin the place where I'm going to match the stripes and I'm going to fold the fabric again and cut the other, the other, the other side. I chose to cut this out with the fabric folded. Some people like to cut out uh, squares and stripes with the fabric open, but I am happy to do it and I do it a lot by folding it. I align the fold with one vertical stripe of the fabric. In this case, I decided to use a black stripe, one of these blacks, and then I align the horizontal stripes here by looking at the wrong side of the fabric which is underneath this one. In this case I know that everything is really aligned. So now I'm going to place this pattern piece here and put it flush with the fold of the fabric and now I'm going to decide where I am going to put a pin on that place right over there. I think that here where this where there's a faint white line between the black and the blue. So I'm going to align that point right there and I'm going to put a pin right there. My first pin. Now I'm going to pin all around the pattern and I'm going to cut out this piece. After I've cut out the first pattern piece of the skirt, I folded the fabric again, so this is the right side and this is the wrong side. And I've moved everything around so that I have enough fabric to cut my pattern piece. I chose to place the fold of the fabric on a black stripe again, so this way all of these will match each other and now I've aligned everything on the horizontal like this here. This way it seems that everything is going to be perfect. Second pattern piece and I'm going to place her here and bump it up to the fold of the fabric. And now what I like to do is to pick up the first skirt piece and I just lay it here. I lift just a little bit of paper and then I lay the fabric exactly on the same stripes like this. If I cut the second one like this it's going to match everything you see. And now I'm going to check again where I place the pin here in this point. It's on the faint white horizontal line between the black and the blue and now I'm going to hold that against the, the fold and I'm going to move the pattern piece down, up or down, in order for me to match the exact same stitch line, stitch point in this case, with the faint white line between the black and the blue. Right here in this placement. I'm going to place a pin here and now I'm going to put weights, pin and cut this second piece. my skirt pattern pieces all cut out and if this pattern was only a skirt I would have my pieces cut out and ready to sew. But in this case this is a pinafore, this is the pattern for a pinafore. So I also have a bodice, a front bodice to cut out and because this skirt will not be gathered in the center front I want to cut the, the bodice with the center front aligned on the same black stripe as this one so that it just flows together. 
So I'm going to fold the fabric again and cut the front bodice aligned with the front skirt. Now that I have all my pattern pieces cut out in fabric, one last note that I want to, to tell you is that when I'm going to sew this, this skirt together, I'm going to sew these two pieces right sides together. So I'm going to grab one side, which is the front, put it on top of the back, and I'm going to align the side seam right sides together. After I had so much trouble to cut everything out perfectly match, I'm not going to leave this stitch line to chance. So I'm going to match the lines up and I'm going to place a pin on each stripe. Yes, on each stripe. I like to place a pin on each stripe. This way the fabric will not shift while I'm sewing it and when I finish sewing it everything will match up perfectly. This is how you cut out pattern pieces in order to perfectly match stripes and plaids. I hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye bye!